WordNet is a lexical database for the English language. It groups English words into sets of synonyms called synsets, provides short definitions and usage examples, and records a number of relations among these synonym sets or their members. WordNet can thus be seen as a combination of dictionary and thesaurus. While it is accessible to human users via a web browser, its primary use is in automatic text analysis and artificial intelligence applications. The database and software tools have been released under a BSD-style license and are freely available for download from the WordNet website. Both the lexicographic data and the compiler for producing the distributed database are available. History and Team Members WordNet was created in the Cognitive Science Laboratory of Princeton University under the direction of psychology professor George Armitage Miller, starting in 1985 and has been directed in recent years by Christiane Philbaum. The project received funding from government agencies including the National Science Foundation, DARPA, the Disruptive Technology Office, and Reflex. George Miller and Christiane Philbaum were awarded the 2006 Antonio Zampoli Prize for their work with WordNet. Database Contents As of November 2012 WordNet's latest online version is 3.1. The database contains 155,287 words organized in 117,659 synsets for a total of 206,941 word sense pairs, in compressed form. It is about 12 megabytes in size. WordNet includes the lexical categories nouns, verbs, adjectives and adverbs but ignores prepositions, determiners and other function words. Words from the same lexical category that are roughly synonymous are grouped into synsets. Synsets include simplex words as well as collocations like eat out and carpool. The different senses of a polysemous word form are assigned to different synsets. The meaning of a synset is further clarified with a short defining gloss and one or more usage examples. An example adjective synset is good, right, ripe. All synsets are connected to other synsets by means of semantic relations. These relations, which are not all shared by all lexical categories, include nouns hyponyms. Y is a hyponym of X if every X is a Y hyponyms. Y is a hyponym of X if every Y is a X coordinate terms. Y is a coordinate term of X if X and Y share a hyponym meronym. Y is a meronym of X if Y is a part of X holonym. Y is a holonym of X if X is a part of Y. Verbs hyponym. The verb Y is a hyponym of the verb X if the activity X is a Y troponym. The verb Y is a troponym of the verb X if the activity Y is doing X in some manner entailment. The verb Y is entailed by X if by doing X you must be doing Y coordinate terms. Those verbs sharing a common hyponym. These semantic relations hold among all members of the linked synsets. Individual synset members can also be connected with lexical relations. For example, the noun director is linked to the verb direct from which it is derived via a morphosemantic link. The morphology functions of the software distributed with the database try to deduce the lemma or stem form of a word from the user's input. Irregular forms are stored in a list, and looking up, eight will return, eat, for example. Knowledge structure. Both nouns and verbs are organized into hierarchies, defined by hyponym or as a relationships. For instance, one sense of the word dog is found following hyponym hierarchy. The words at the same level represent synset members. Each set of synonyms has a unique index. Dog, domestic dog, canis familiarize equals greater than canine, canid equals greater than carnivore equals greater than placental, placental mammal, eutherian, eutherian mammal equals greater than mammal equals greater than vertebrate, craniate equals greater than chordate equals greater than animal, animate being, beast, brute, creature, fauna equals greater than. At the top level, these hierarchies are organized into 25 beginner trees for nouns and 15 for verbs. 
All are linked to a unique beginner set. Entity, noun hierarchies are far deeper than verb hierarchies. Adjectives are not organized into hierarchical trees. Instead, two central antonyms such as hot and cold form binary poles, while satellite synonyms such as steaming and chilly connect to their respective poles via a similarity relations. The adjectives can be visualized in this way as dumbbells rather than as trees. Psycholinguistic aspects of WordNet The initial goal of the WordNet project was to build a lexical database that would be consistent with theories of human semantic memory developed in the late 1960s. Psychological experiments indicated that speakers organized their knowledge of concepts in an economic, hierarchical fashion. Retrieval time required to access conceptual knowledge seemed to be directly related to the number of hierarchies the speaker needed to traverse to access the knowledge. Thus, speakers could more quickly verify that canaries can sing because a canary is a songbird, but required slightly more time to verify that canaries can fly and even more time to verify canaries have skin. While such experiments and the underlying theories have been subject to criticism, some of WordNet's organization is consistent with experimental evidence. For example, anomic aphasia selectively affects speakers' ability to produce words from a specific semantic category, a WordNet hierarchy. Antonymous adjectives are found to co-occur far more frequently than chance, a fact that has been found to hold for many languages. WordNet is a lexical ontology. WordNet is sometimes called an ontology, a persistent claim that its creators do not make. The hyponym, hyponym relationships among the noun synsets can be interpreted as specialization relations among conceptual categories. In other words, WordNet can be interpreted and used as a lexical ontology in the computer science sense. However, such an ontology should normally be corrected before being used since it contains hundreds of basic semantic inconsistencies such as the existence of common specializations for exclusive categories and redundancies in the specialization hierarchy. Furthermore, transforming WordNet into a lexical ontology usable for knowledge representation should normally also involve distinguishing the specialization relations into subtype of an instantive relations and associating intuitive unique identifiers to each category. Although such corrections and transformations have been performed and documented as part of the integration of WordNet 1.7 into the cooperatively updatable knowledge base of WEBKB2, most projects claiming to reuse WordNet for knowledge-based applications simply reuse it directly. WordNet has also been converted to a formal specification by means of the hybrid bottom-up top-down methodology to automatically extract association relations from WordNet and interpret these associations in terms of a set of conceptual relations formally defined in the Dolce Foundational Ontology. In most works that claim to have integrated WordNet into ontologies, the content of WordNet has not simply been corrected when it seemed necessary. Instead, WordNet has been heavily reinterpreted and updated whenever suitable. This was the case when, for example, the top-level ontology of WordNet was restructured according to the ontoclean-based approach or when WordNet was used as a primary source for Constructing the lower classes of the SENSUS ontology. Limitations. WordNet does not include information about the etymology or the pronunciation of words and it contains only limited information about usage. WordNet aims to cover most of everyday English and does not include much domain-specific terminology. WordNet is the most commonly used computational lexicon of English for word sense disambiguation, a task aimed to assigning the context appropriate meanings to words in a text. However, it has been argued that WordNet encodes sense distinctions that are too fine-grained. This issue prevents WSD systems from achieving a level of performance comparable to that of humans.
who do not always agree when confronted with the task of selecting a sense from a dictionary that matches a word in a context. The granularity issue has been tackled by proposing clustering methods that automatically group together similar senses of the same word. Licensed versus open wordnets Some wordnets were subsequently created for other languages. A 2012 survey lists the wordnets and their availability. In an effort to propagate the usage of wordnets, the global WordNet community had been slowly re-licensing their WordNets to an open domain where researchers and developers can easily access and use WordNets as language resources to provide ontological and lexical knowledge in natural language processing tasks. The open multilingual WordNet provides access to open licensed WordNets in a variety of languages, all linked to the Princeton WordNet of English. The goal is to make it easy to use WordNets in multiple languages. Applications WordNet has been used for a number of different purposes in information systems, including word sense disambiguation, information retrieval, automatic text classification, automatic text summarization, machine translation and even automatic crossword puzzle generation. A common use of WordNet is to determine the similarity between words. Various algorithms have been proposed, and these include measuring the distance among the words and insets in WordNet's graph structure, such as by counting the number of edges among insets. The intuition is that the closer two words or insets are, the closer their meaning. A number of WordNet-based word similarity algorithms are implemented in a Perl package called WordNet Similarity, and in a Python package called NLTK. Other more sophisticated WordNet-based similarity techniques include ADW, whose implementation is available in Java. WordNet can also be used to interlink other vocabularies, interfaces. Princeton maintains a list of related projects that includes links to some of the widely used application programming interfaces available for accessing WordNet using various programming languages and environments related projects and extensions. WordNet is connected to several databases of the semantic web. WordNet is also commonly reused via mappings between the WordNet's insets and the categories from ontologies. Most often, only the top-level categories of WordNet are mapped. Global WordNet Association The Global WordNet Association is a public and non-commercial organization that provides a platform for discussing, sharing and connecting WordNets for all languages in the world. The GWA also promotes the standardization of WordNets across different languages to ensure its uniformity in enumerating the difference in sets in human languages. The GWA keeps a list of WordNets developed around the world. Other languages Kuhn supported by National Taiwan University. Wolf, a French version of WordNet. JAWS, another French version of WordNet built using the Wiktionary and semantic spaces. The Indo-WordNet is a linked lexical knowledge base of WordNets of 18 scheduled languages of India. The Multi-WordNet Project, a multilingual WordNet aimed at producing an Italian WordNet strongly aligned with the Princeton WordNet. The Euro-WordNet Project has produced WordNets for several European languages and linked them together. These are not freely available, however. The Global WordNet Project attempts to coordinate the production and linking of WordNets for all languages. Oxford University Press, the publisher of the Oxford English Dictionary, has voiced plans to produce their own online competitor to WordNet. The Balkanet Project has produced WordNets for six European languages. For this project, freely available XML-based WordNet editor was developed. This editor, VDIC, is not in active development anymore, but is still used for the creation of various WordNets. Its successor, DebVDIC, is client-server application and is currently used for the editing of several WordNets.
Such projects as Balkanet and EuroWordNet made it feasible to create standalone WordNets linked to the original one. One of such projects is Russian WordNet patronized by Petersburg State University of Means of Communication or RusNet by St. Petersburg State University. Fin WordNet is a Finnish version of the WordNet where all entries of the original English WordNet were translated. Germanet is a German version of the WordNet developed by the University of Tübingen. OpenOne PT is a Brazilian Portuguese version of the original WordNet freely available for download under CC by SAR license. Er WordNet is a Polish language version of WordNet developed by Rocklaw University of Technology. Polnet is a Polish language version of WordNet developed by Adam Mikovic University in Poznan. Bonnet is a Bulgarian version of the WordNet developed at the Department of Computational Linguistics of the Institute for Bulgarian Language, Bulgarian Academy of Sciences, linked data Babelnet. A very large multilingual semantic network with millions of concepts obtained from an integration of WordNet and Wikipedia based on an automatic mapping algorithm. The Sumo ontology has produced a mapping between all of the WordNet's insets and Sumo classes. The most recent edition of the mappings provides links to all of the more specific terms in the mid-level ontology, which extends SUMO, OpenPsych, an open ontology and knowledge base of everyday common sense knowledge, has 12,000 terms linked to WordNet synonym sets. Dolce is the first module of the Wonder Web Foundational Ontologies Library. This upper ontology has been developed in light of rigorous ontological principles inspired by the philosophical tradition, with a clear orientation toward language and cognition. Onto WordNet is the result of an experimental effort to align WordNet's upper level with Dolce. It is suggested that such alignment could lead to an ontologically sweetened WordNet, meant to be conceptually more rigorous cognitively transparent, and efficiently exploitable in several applications. DBpedia, a database of structured information, is also linked to WordNet. The extended WordNet is a project at the University of Texas at Dallas which aims to improve WordNet by semantically parsing the glosses, thus making the information contained in these definitions available for automatic knowledge processing systems. It is also freely available under a license similar to WordNet's. The GCIDE project produced a dictionary by combining a public domain Webster's Dictionary from 1913 with some WordNet definitions and material provided by volunteers. It was released under the copyleft license GPL. ImageNet is an image database organized according to the WordNet hierarchy, in which each node of the hierarchy is depicted by hundreds and thousands of images. Currently it has an average of over 500 images per node. BioWordNet, a biomedical extension of WordNet was abandoned due to issues about stability over versions. Wikitax 2 WordNet, a mapping between WordNet's insets and Wikipedia categories. WordNet++, a resource including over millions of semantic edges harvested from Wikipedia and connecting pairs of WordNet insets. SentiWordNet, a resource for supporting opinion mining applications obtained by tagging all the WordNet 3.0 synsets according to their estimated degrees of positivity, negativity, and neutrality. Coloredict is an Android application to mobiles phones that use WordNet database and others, like Wikipedia. UBYLMF a database of 10 resources including WordNet. Related projects FrameNet is a lexical database that shares some similarities with and refers to WordNet. Lexical Markup Framework is an ISO standard specified within ISO TC37 in order to define a common standardized framework for the construction of lexicons, including WordNet. The subset of LMF for WordNet is called WordNet LMF. An instantiation has been made within the Kyoto project.
UNL program is a project under the auspices of UNO aimed to consolidate lexico-semantic data of many languages to be used in machine translation and information extraction systems, distributions, Babylon. WordNet database is distributed as a dictionary package for the following software, Golden Dict, Lingos.